Hello, fellow compounders. Welcome back. In this video, I'll tell you the incredible story of Grace Groner, a modest secretary who turned a small investment of $180 into $7.2 million through the power of compounding. Her journey is a powerful testament to the transformative potential of consistent, long-term investing. By understanding the key principles that guided Grace's success, we'll uncover actionable steps you can take today to start compounding your own wealth. So let's get started. This video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. I am not your financial advisor and you are responsible for your own financial decisions. Grace Corona's story begins in 1935 when she was just 26 years old. That year, she invested the modest sum of $180 by purchasing three shares of Abbott Laboratory stock at $60 each. She went on to work at Abbott for 43 years and little did she know that this small investment would ultimately grow into a $7.2 million fortune over the next 75 years. Rather than cashing out her dividends or selling her shares, Grace diligently reinvested her earnings back into buying more Abbott stock. As the company split its shares multiple times, Grace's initial three shares blossomed into over 100,000 shares by the time of her death in 2010 at age 100. Grace's life was marked by simplicity and frugality. She never married, never owned a car, and lived in a small one-bedroom house that she inherited. She had few needs, bought clothes at rummage sales, but she traveled extensively. She also gave money to the deity, and upon her death, she bequeathed $7 million to her alma mater, Lake Forest College. Her lifestyle allowed her to focus on her investment strategy without the distractions and financial burdens that often come with a more extravagant lifestyle. Of course, you don't need to live the simple life Grace had to become a millionaire. Just make sure that you earn more than you spend and invest wisely. I'll give you action steps later in the video. Grace Groner's remarkable success underscores the incredible power of compounding. By consistently reinvesting her dividends over decades, she has been able to turn her modest $180 investment into a multi-million dollar fortune. As Einstein famously said, compounding is the eighth wonder of the world. Compounding works by generating earnings on an asset's reinvested earnings. In other words, you earn interest on your interest. The key is to start investing as early as possible and let time work in your favor. The longer your money has to compound, the more dramatic the results will be. Grace's story clearly demonstrates how even small sums can grow exponentially when given enough time. Consider this. If you invest $200 a month at an annual return of 7%, which is the historical average real return of the stock market, in 10 years, you'll have around $34,600. In 20 years, you'll have around $102,000. In 30 years, you'll have around $235,000. In 40 years, you'll have around 497,000, close to half a million. And in 50 years, you'll have a million $12,000. That's that's a million dollars in 50 years. The longer you let your money compound, the more significant the growth will be. Grace Groner's journey provides several valuable lessons for investors. Number one, consistency is key. Grace's success was built on consistent, disciplined investing over the long term. She stayed the course through market fluctuations and global events, never wavering from her strategy. For example, during World War II, the stock market experienced significant volatility. And despite this, Grace continued to reinvest her dividends, understanding that the market would eventually recover. Number two, reinvest your dividends. By consistently reinvesting her dividends, Grace was able to supercharge her returns through the power of compounding. Cashing out dividends would have dramatically slowed her wealth accumulation. For example, instead of using her dividends to increase her immediate spending power, Grace reinvested them. This not only bought her some more shares, but also increased the amount of future dividends she would receive. Number three, patience pays off. Building wealth through compounding takes time and patience. Grace weathered decades of markets ups and downs, allowing her investments to mature. Rushing for quick gains often leads to disappointment. The stock market crashed several times during Grace's lifetime, including the Great Depression and the 2008 financial crisis. By not panicking and selling her shares, she allowed her investments to recover and grow. Number four, live below your means. Despite her growing wealth, Grace maintained a frugal lifestyle never owning a car or keeping up with her neighbors. Living below her means frees up capital to invest and compound. For example, Grace lived in a modest house and didn't indulge in luxuries. This allowed her to save significant proportion of her income to reinvest. Number five, simplicity trumps complexity. Grace's investment strategy was quite simple. She invested in a single stock, Abbott Laboratories, and held on for the long run. Complicated strategies often underperform simple, disciplined approaches. For example, many investors try to beat the market 
by trading frequently or using complex strategies. Grace's approach of buying and holding a single stock proved to be incredibly effective. So how can you apply the lessons from Grace Grover's story to start compounding your own wealth today? Here are some key steps. Number one, start investing early. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to compound. Even small, consistent investments can grow into a substantial sum of money over decades. If you start investing $200 per month at age 25, you could accumulate close to $500,000 by age 65, assuming a 7% annual return. If you started at age 35, you must invest $425 a month to reach the same amount. So starting early pays off. Here's your action step. Open a brokerage account and start investing today even if it's just a small amount of money. The key is to start as soon as possible to take full advantage of compounding. By the way, if you're looking to open a brokerage account, I suggest checking out Moomoo.com, which is one of the affiliates of this channel. They have a very complete investing platform. The link is in the description. Two, reinvest your dividends. Automatically reinvest your dividends to turbocharge your returns. Most brokerages offer automatic dividend reinvestment plans, DRIPS, to make this easy. Moomoo.com offers the drip option. Here's your option step. Enroll in a drip with your brokerage account to ensure that dividends are automatically reinvested. Number three, focus on quality companies. Investing in well-run companies with durable competitive advantages and a history of growing dividends is key. Dividend aristocrats like Abbott Laboratories are a great place to start. Here's your action step. Research and invest in dividend aristocrats. These are companies that have increased their dividends for at least 25 consecutive years. Watch this video that I made in the past. Number four, stay disciplined. Resist the urge to time the market or chase the latest fads. Stick to your investment plan through good times and bad. Consistency is key. The action step to take is to create an investment plan and stick to it. Avoid the temptation to make impulsive changes based on short-term market movements. Number five, live below your means. Spend less than you earn and invest the difference. Avoid lifestyle inflation and keep your expenses in check to maximize your savings and compounding potential. The action step you need to take is to create a budget and track your expenses. Identify areas where you can cut back and increase your savings. And six, be patient. Building wealth through compounding takes time. Avoid getting discouraged by short-term market fluctuations. Stay focused on the long-term. The action step to take is to remind yourself of your long-term goals and avoid reacting to short-term market volatility. Review your investment plan regularly to stay on track. Wait a minute. Can I just pick or can you just pick a stock like Grace did and become a millionaire? Maybe, or maybe it was just luck. We've heard stories of the Apple millionaires or the people that worked for Walmart and bought stock in Walmart when it was just starting or even Home Depot or Google. But how many of you get the chance to work for a Google or an Apple when they're just starting off? So the question is, what do you do? Well, the good news is that in this channel, the Always Been Compounding Club, we have reviewed some proven investment strategies to consider. So we'll review three strategies that I think would help you to build or to buy investments that will compound over time. So here are the strategies to consider. Number one. Index investing. Investing in low cost, cost index stocks that track the overall stock market is one of the simplest and most cost effective way to compound wealth over time. Index funds provide instant diversification and have historically outperformed the majority of actively managed funds. The advantages are that you have lower fees, broad market exposure, and they're simple to manage. The disadvantages are that they lack flexibility and you're often tied to the index performance. Historically, data supports the efficacy of index investing. For example, the S&P 500 has delivered an average annual return of around 10% over the past century. While there are fluctuations in periods of volatility, the long-term trend has been upward. Number two, dividend growth investing. Investing in high quality companies with a track record of consistently raising the dividends can create a snowball effect of growing passive income. As your dividends are reinvested, they generate even more dividends accelerating your wealth compounding. The advantages are growing passive income, potential for capital appreciation, and lower volatility. The disadvantages are that it requires careful selection of dividend growth stocks and may involve more active management than index investing. Companies like Coca-Cola, Johnson & Johnson have been increasing the dividends for decades demonstrating the potential for sustained growth and income. Strategy number three, buying undervalued stocks and patiently waiting for the market to recognize their true worth is a time-tested strategy championed by legendary investors like Warren Buffett. By focusing on long-term intrinsic value of a business, value investors can compound their wealth steadily over decades. The advantages are that you have the potential 
for significant returns if undervalued stocks are accurately identified. The disadvantages are that it requires significant research and patience, and not all undervalued stocks will appreciate as expected. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway is a prime example of the power of value investing, having generated significant returns over many decades. The key with an investment strategy is to stay disciplined, avoid get-rich-quick schemes, and focus on the long term. Compounding works best when you can resist the urge to time the market or make frequent trades. Grace Kroner's remarkable journey is a testament to the power of consistent, disciplined investing over the long run. By embracing the principles of compounding, she was able to turn a small investment into life-changing wealth. Her story serves as an inspiration for investors of all ages to start compounding their wealth today. Remember, the keys to success are simple. Start investing early, reinvest your dividends, focus on quality companies, stay disciplined, live below your means, and be patient. By following these principles, you too can harness the incredible power of compounding to achieve financial freedom. So what are you waiting for? Start compounding your wealth today and let time work in your favor. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take it and watch your wealth grow exponentially over the years to come. Remember, always be compounding. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Take care.